the leaning tower of Jordans. Nike, Nike, Jordan, 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 Jordan. Whoa, oh, oh. oh. it gets loaded. We are in the most dangerous city in the entire United States, Baltimore, Maryland, because we just bought this five by five storage unit for $490. You'll see why right when we get inside. Let's do it. So I think it's obvious why we spent the money on this. Check those out. The Leaning Tower of Jordans. Yeah. Come on, that's a no brainer. But let's start pulling some of the other stuff out. What is this thing? Mm. Big goals. Okay. This is a goal board for 202. Something tells me there probably well, is supposed to be another two there. Ramon and maybe Brian. Maybe. These are their different goals. All right. <laughs> they said start kickboxing, man. I might get beat up by this person. <laughs> what is this big thing here? Who is that? See who that is. Turn it normal way. I'm gonna say, you gotta tell me. You know I don't know anything about celebrities or anything like that. I actually don't recognize her. Well, whoever it is, they paid 30 bucks for it when they bought it. Maybe somebody knows, let us know down in the comments because I'm not a celebrity person. Cash? How do you say no to cash sitting at the door? I mean, that's gotta be $1.45 at least. <laughs> right there dollar 50 right there maybe a quarter tank of gas <laughs> hey can't beat it what should i do let's get these bags yeah grab some bags all right let's get this one out right here just set it on the cart we got well first off here here that what's this didn't we just find what two or three valentine's bears in the mm -hmm. last unit we bought there's that one what else is in here i see more hair this what is that? Massager. It looks like like a head massager. Is it? I thought this was a PSP case. It looks like an old PSP yeah. case, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so a massager. Is this a big old dog? It's like one of those hard fluff dogs. It's a stuffed animal, but he's kind of hard at the same time. That sounds really bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a little stiff. What else is that in doesn't here? Make it sound any better. It really doesn't, does it? Hey, look. <laughs> PS4 game. A PS4 Gran Turismo game. Oh not well, in not in there. That's bad. Um. So there's more hair, more clothes, and what is this? A book, one random book in there with all that other stuff. So we got us a nice vacuum cleaner. It looks like a Black & Decker vacuum right there. Looks like it's in good shape too. The cord is all wrapped. You can always tell by the cord. They take the time to wrap it up. They probably kept it in good if shape. They also take the time to clean it. I almost backed into the shoes. Let's see what else is over here. With every vacuum, you need a Swiffer. I think a Swiffer is probably the top five most common items you find in every storage unit you buy. Definitely one of them. This is a nice, I guess I was gonna say outdoor lamp, but not really, just a tall lamp. It makes me think outdoors, even though they're not. What's this? Uh, that. <laughs> I think it's the top to that thing. Oh, what, what kind of letters are on these? I don't know. They definitely don't stick very well. Look at this lamp right here. In case you have a room full of five people and you want everyone to simultaneously be blinded at the same time, look at that. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. You can blind everybody. Nobody's seeing in your house. I'm one of those people that like the dark. Put it in the comments. Are you a light person or a dark person? I'm a dark person. This probably goes to this. Yes. There's this hat. Good job. Thank you, thank you. I'm so smart, I know. Let's get out this thing right here. Ooh, it's heavy, really heavy. Oh, what do you think's in here? Ah, uh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, it looks like bathroom stuff. Ah, uh, not bathroom. Well, phone case, nails. What is this for? My puppy's cuter than yours. Okay, congrats. Bathroom stuff for the most part. Yeah, looks like bathroom. Let's go to the second drawer. Ah, it's like stuck tape. shut. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's tape. I didn't even see the tape. Let me see it. Let's go to number two. Is this bad? This looks a little more random. Is this a journal? Uh, is that a Google Home? That's a Bluetooth speaker. speaker. All right, you got extension cords, some books, and hair dryer. So still kind of bathroom. Let's see if I can close that back. Last one, also tape. Let's see what's in this guy here. It'll come undone. It's taped on this side too. All right, let's see. Well, looks like it's also, man, this looks like a little bit more creative stuff. You got colored pencils right here. You got a book. We got a bunch of paperwork and a 2014 frame. Not too much in there, but at least it's not bathroom. So let's get into these black bags so that we can eventually get into these gray totes over here. This one feels like something big. I feel like it's a blanket. This is gonna be bedding. And I think we just called that. You are correct. Hunting camo. All right, we don't wanna go through the bedding. Let's see what's in Ugh. this heavy. one. It's heavy, but feels like heavy, but it's again. fluffy. Yeah, let's check it and make sure though. Could have jerseys, you could have something like that worth money, but definitely doesn't look like it right off the bat. Let's just get that one to the side as well. No! Oh, I thought it was gonna fall down on me. Again, it's all closed. It's starting to scare me now, these boxes. <laughs> Maybe if they left all their clothes, they'd leave all their shoes too. This one, man. Now. This is a blanket, so all, how many blankets do they have? A lot. All right, well. Just get all the black bags out of the way. Is this one closed too? 
course it is. Can we peek inside this one? Why? To see if, like you said, there's like good clothes. Oh uh, yeah. Jerseys or something like that. Again, not seeing anything right off that. But we'll look into more detail, but probably just gonna be clothes, close. This, okay, this one's different. This one's hard. Coming undone at the bottom. Are those, are those hangers? Yeah. So, well. <laughs> There you go. That's for you. No. Nothing more exciting than a whole bag full of hangers. Come on. Hangers are what this game's all about. <sighs> it's all about the hangers. Yeah. All right. Should I pull out this? Well, let's go this? through this. All right. And then get the black bag, and then we'll go into the tilt. Okay. We have a plane. So this is a badminton net. Definitely in there. Cool. This is a lot of papers, set of markers, more papers, 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 papers. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. what in the heck? This is a BB gun. Dang, Dang it. it. <laughs> I just got so psyched for a second. It's a BB gun. I think it's loaded. Safety's on it somewhere. There you go. They're coming out. Oh, they're coming out. No well, force, really. Man, my heart just now. <laughs> I was like, oh. we just found in a, t a little basket. Ah, oh, thought we had one. The rest of it is just paper and cards. All right, let's get the first of the two gray totes out of the unit. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. There's no way that's close. Let's see. Is that a puzzle? A puzzle and then a chess and checker set. Checkers is my game. Cool. If you're watching this video right now, I'll beat you in checkers, guaranteed. 100%. We need to get like an online tournament. Oh, you don't want the smoke. <laughs> Let's see. Little uh, Pittsburgh Steelers bear, some Christmas balls. A lot of, at least a couple candles. Ooh, this smells good too. Definitely good. keep those. Candles are one of those things. You're not worth a lot of money, but for some reason when I find them, I get excited because we use them. What is this, a social media book? Harford Tech. Okay. Let's see, there's a photo album. We'll make sure, leave that behind. And other than that, this looks like this tote here might be a lot of personal stuff. Uh, pictures, cards. Yeah, this one here looks like it's all personal stuff, which we'll make sure we leave behind for them to get back. Now let's see what's in second tote right here. Ugh, scoot over. What do you think? Mm, shoes, more shoes. No, let's see. The meme game. What is, I always forget the name of it. A power strip. Power strip. More Christmas balls. Uh, Hershey Park Bear. Let's see. Here. Hey. What do you see? Ooh, That's look. Cute. Look at that Jordan. You know what? That's the bottoms are. Smaller aren't size, actually. Too bad. What size do you think they are? Uh, eight. Seven. Yep. You're close. <laughs> Close but no cigar. I was about to say seven and a half. Ooh, look, a credit card thing. Can we just find this too? Yeah. Deck of cards and books. Let's see if there's anything under these books. I said eight because I hope. Yeah, you're just hoping it'd be your size. Yeah. It looks like this tote is literally all books. And that scares me because one thing people put in shoe boxes a lot are books. So now I'm getting nervous. Let's get this final black bag out of the unit. Because this one's obviously not closed. I can tell by the weight of it or the way it felt. So, well. Hey. That's always convenient, right? <laughs> nice new it. roll of toilet paper. Always use that. Oh, we can use all everything here. Look at this. Candles. <laughs> Two new candles. This is this a Yankee candle? Yeah, a Yankee candle too. Oh yeah, keeping all these. And we have, is that for air, or no? Small space thing, okay. you plug it in. It's it doesn't go in the person. car though, right? No. Okay, so we'll keep all that. Keep the dryer sheets, a green light bulb. And then what's underneath the sheet? Anything else? Nope. What is that? That's a toothbrush. <laughs> I grabbed it. <laughs> Why? What is that? <laughs> Just a couple look. Literally, new things of soap. This is like a perfect, not valuable bag, but a perfect take home and we'll use pretty much all of it bag. You know what's so nice about this unit? They were polite enough to leave us, well, maybe like 25 to 35% of the bag, but you know what? This is probably enough we'll trash bags to, you know, bag up the stuff we have here. So that's nice of them. I have a good feeling I know what this is. And if it is what I think Ooh, it is, that's big. That's worth a good amount of money right there. And this might be a hint of what I think it is. Oh, okay, let's get these out first. These are just two mounted puzzles that they probably put together and then, you know, mounted them on the cardboard. So that doesn't really have any real value. We'll set that over there. And here is this TV. It's a nice light flat screen. You know, when you gonna pick a TV up if it's got a lot of weight to it. It ain't gonna be worth nothing. Well, it's a Samsung. Yeah, this is a Samsung. I'd say, what, 40 inch probably? Let's see the model number. Flip it around. You see it? Model number, yeah, it's a 40 inch. Yeah, so that is pretty nice. It'd be like 100 bucks there. This right here. Oh, whoa. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought it was. <laughs> Two TV trays right here. We have someone that comes to our yard sale every time and asks if we have TV trays. Now we have TV trays. We got two of them. If you're watching this. But that's what an LG. The heck? God. That's gotta be 
60, 65 inch. What that do you think? That looks so big. I don't know. We need to like put it down. I'm 6'5". Like, what's ours? At home? Yeah, the living 65. room. 65. So it might be about that size. I don't know, man. That's big. I mean, it's almost my... It's, it's at least 60. It's over 5 feet, 100%. That's for sure. Can you take it out? I'm going to try, but I think we should move these first. Okay, okay. So let's go through the shoes. Now for the big moment of truth. Let's start opening the shoe boxes. We'll start with, well, because they're on top and probably the cheapest pair, the Vans. And you know what? It's not empty. It's Yay. definitely not empty. Ooh, Bam. I like the way this is going already. Are they brand new though? Um, they very well might be. Look at I that. I say yes. I think they're brand spanking new. What do Vans go for these days? I have no idea. But brand spanking new, that gives me good hope. This pair of Vans is selling for $35 brand new on eBay or $60 brand new if you buy them in the store. Right. These are Uggs. They feel like they're in there. Size 10. Boom. Nah, they're not brand new, but... They're actually, no, they're used, yeah, they're used, but they're not too used. I mean, they'll definitely clean up. I've never seen blue ones before. Yeah. So blue Uggs right there. Let's drop this box oh, right here as well. That's Ugg for men. Those are men's Uggs. What? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, but men shouldn't be wearing Uggs. No, I'm sorry too. If you're a man who watches and wear Uggs, no offense to you, but not my thing. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and put them down here. These pair of um, men's Uggs are selling for about $115. Not bad. Two. All right. Ooh, this is where Jordan. it gets exciting. The Jordans. And it sounds like they're in there, guys, right now. Make sure you leave this video a big fat thumbs up. Please, it helps us out a lot. And subscribe if you are new. <sighs> this is where it matters. Oh, yes. Nice. They're used, nice. but not bad. I mean, the bottoms are the worst part. This is like just sticky. Like if I just scratch this with my nail, this mm -hmm. is gonna come off right here. So these are in good shape. Look, nice. they're verified authentic. Sweet. What's this right here? That's the card for them. Oh, they hit bottom they off stock stock it. Sweet, so you know they're real. That's a good thing right there too. So that's, I don't know what they're worth. I don't know what they're worth. They're nice. Yep. We'll take it. Set them down here. These Jordans in this shape with guaranteed authenticity are going for 160 bucks. That's why I love Jordan boxes. Is this one a shoe box? Yeah, well it came from Journeys. I don't think it's a shoe box though. Oh it well, is. there it is. What are these? Air Wear Martins? Brand oh, new. 100% okay. no. brand new. Look, the paper's still in those. So what do these go for? I wonder. They have a price on them? Is there a receipt in here? Not that I'm seeing no. though. There's a coupon. Just the size, yeah. So there's that. Never heard of that brand, but they're actually still selling for 75 bucks brand new on eBay. So again, not bad. Next one's are Nikes. Wait, wait. Nikes. They got weight. Let's see. No, they're not that nice. They can still be put in the wash. Though. Oh yeah, I mean, they're not. They're nice. Yeah, this will clean up really easy. Like I'd much rather see this than like the compressed wrinkles and dirt. Like this toothbrush, five minutes. Look at the bottoms. They're not very worn. Five minutes of the toothbrush. These will clean right up very easily. So, nice. not close. But what's down here? So are these new, I wonder? I wonder if they just got something stained on them. Yeah, I mean, they were worn a couple times, you could tell. Okay. But pretty much new. Brand new, these are going for about 80 bucks. So seeing as ours have a few stains, that still say about $60 for these. Jordan box. Jordan box. Yeah, it's two Jordan boxes in a row. What size? Size 10. Size 10. Boom. Nah, they're, they're kind of ugly. I don't like them. I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like them either, but still. But they'll sell well. Yeah, StockX right here. Verified. Does it have a price tag? 190 Really? 100% authentic. They paid 190 for them. Nice. These are Jordan 11 Retro Low Snake Navy Blue is what it says. Nice. So let's put set them right here. Another Jordan box right here. Oh, yeah. Do these say anything on it? Size 10 as well. Yeah. Told you. Look nice, don't they? <laughs> yep. Don't they look, that's, that's a very good shoe. I like their sense of style. These are exactly what I have. I paid 180 for mine, I think. So I guess they go somewhere around there. I mean, they're in, why does this happen on all of them? But hey, is this the StockX thing? Yep, we'll see what they paid. It's got the receipt in it too. They paid 150, because they're not, okay. They weren't, they were like new. They weren't new. Still, Still yeah, condition. not bad at all. Right there, Reebok. I don't think Reeboks are as expensive. There might be some pairs that are. Hey! Whoa, and they're not Reebok. Yeah. These are some nice Air Forces, huh? Baby, like pastel blue. Yeah, these are nine and a half. Or gray, I can't tell. Those are nice. Do you have a receipt in this one? 
No, just Reebok stuff. Sweet. I'll, much, I'll trade Reeboks for Air Forces any day of the week. We'll take that right there. The only pair of these that I can find that sold, sold for 175 but that was brand new. These aren't quite brand new, but they're in very good shape. So if I had to guess, I'd say 120 to 140 easy. These Under Armour ones? Come on. Oh. Aw. Right. Aw. Well, that's empty. Boo. Another Ugg box. Ugh, that's not. Is it Ugg for men? It is. Ew. I'm sorry. You can't make Uggs for men. It's just not a thing in my world. <laughs> in my eyes, you can't. Like, they're just not meant for men. But they're in there. And they're in, I mean, really good shape. I don't know if Uggs for men sell for anything near what Uggs for women do. I didn't even know they made Uggs for men until very recently. So that. Again, these so-called men's boots are selling for over $100 again. Gotta love it. Don't fall, please. Three more. Under Armour, be replaced, Jordans. No, these are actual Under Armour. Brand new though, here's the receipt. 80 bucks for them, not bad. Brand new. Yeah, these haven't been worn either. Check that out. Uh, <laughs> um, uh. I mean, they got the receipt, so at least there's that. Yeah. I don't know how to get that off, but drop these down here. Two more, Jordans and Nikes. And they got weight to them. Let's nice. check the Nikes. Yeah. These don't look very expensive and they're pretty used. But they're the kind of fabric that can be washed easily. Yeah, they'll clean up easy, but I bet you they're only like 60 bucks brand new. I doubt they're expensive. That's my guess. I could be totally wrong. They look like the cheaper ones. Let's put them down here and big Jordan box here. It slides out here. Oh, it slides out. Yeah. We found these before. Yeah. In California, are, we had them. Yeah, I mean, they're little. They're tens. Used, but they're still nice. They have the thing in here. No, I don't see the little stock X thing, but these will also clean up very easily. These were selling used for $170. This is just awesome. This is why you just take those chances on those Jordan boxes. Look at this big boy now. It's not, it's light, but because it's so big, it's still kind of heavy, you know what I mean? For its size, it's a light TV. This is a nice LG TV, probably a smart screen. Can you see the model down there? Let's see, model, where's the model number, right? I'm guessing 65 there. inch. Does it have the Yeah, dimensions? 65. So yeah, I mean, I paid 600 bucks for our 65 inch, but that was like five years ago. So I bet you pre-owned, this is probably still two, 300 bucks easy. This TV is still selling new for about $800. So pre-owned, I think I was right on the money, about three to $400, not bad. Two thirds of you guys watching this video right now are not subscribed. So if you're enjoying these, make sure you subscribe so you can see all the new storage units we're buying all the time. We took a big chance on those shoe boxes and it ended up paying off nice and big. Hey guys, don't forget, we're doing a $100 giveaway March 21st. Follow us on Instagram for a chance to win that. And anyone that's interested in buying the shoes, they are already listed on our Poshmark. The link is down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.